with that. So how many how many days sober do you have now? So today I have, let's see, this is my 82nd day today. 82nd day. 82nd day. So walk us through recovery. What has that been like for you? Recovery was, it was really a look at myself. You know, recovery, I started off at Palm Avenue. I was there for 11 days. Then I went to P90, Project 90 there in San Mateo. Um, there was a counselor there that told me, Fred, we really want you to be the best person you could be. And that, that entails you being the best person you can be that every step of the way, that every time. And that rang loud to me, David, you know. So I used that, that what he told me there, and I decided at that point to be the best I can be at every step of the way, to utilize every time I had to basically work on myself. Mm. Um, I described myself at, at like this. I, I used the metaphor of two birds in a tree, okay? So you have my spotlight bird, which is the bird that's basically doing the errands and such and goes about the day and goes to the meetings. But the floodlight bird is the spiritual bird side that's sitting there and not doing anything but just looking and observing everything, mm -hmm. but really looking on the inside. Hmm. And that floodlight bird, which is my second spiritual bird, just sat there and just basically just looked at everything and really looked inside deep and um, became aware of things and, and the things that were important, things that would actually allow me to be a better person. Uh, my acceptance, my patience, my tolerance, my, my compassion, and all that with the help of God and grace grew me from the inside. It grew and it allowed me to to deal with the things I needed to deal with, you know, um, to learn how to be a better person in such a short amount of time, to to handle the things I needed to, because even in in in, in the recovery home, I had people in there that weren't really wanting recovery, and mm -hmm. they were really we want to say dry drunks, so to say, sure, and they had personality issues, and so even though I put myself away from the people in the streets, which was a huge part of me wanting to leave, but I put myself still in small surroundings with people that weren't necessarily the most graceful. And so I essentially um, honed in on the word acceptance and such and really dug in deep and allowed me to actually transform myself. And uh, it was so great that P90 recognizes that, recognizes actually, and, and actually allowed me to transfer at homes to the Carner home, which is given for people that they trust and that have a strong program, you know, and it just really developed me as a person. So the spotlight bird really took care of the things I needed to do, getting my ID, uh, making the calls to get my therapist, getting the uh, sponsor, getting my home group established, working on the steps. And the flight light bird really just dug in deep and allowed me to see everything as, as in a whole without mm. moving and being by being still. Mm. So, That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And how is your relationship with God today? Wonderful. My relationship with God is, is you know, so there's something to be said to be able to go to sleep with peace and to wake up happy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, happy, joyous, and free, as they say in, in AA. And I, I, I can understand the true meaning of that now. Right on. You know, everything is great. You know, there's no 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 bad points in my life right now. Yeah. By the and, grace of God. And like you were telling me before, like your relationship with your wife is getting better. Oh, it's it's. We're joking and laughing like like we were in high school. You know. That's awesome. <laughs> I've been on Earth since I was 15. She was 14. You know, we're like two peas in a pod. And and uh, the great thing about it is, you know, I'm not forcing myself on her. You know. Right. It's like you know she allowed me to the the opportunity to kind of touch down with her and such to just be in a transitioning stage of my life. But I'm not, because of the floodlight bird, I'm not trying to manipulate my way into her life because that should come naturally, you know. Sure. We know what it is. We, we basically accepting of that. We're accepting of this. And we're basically just taking that friendship standpoint and giving, yeah. it, giving it time and relationship to see whatever blossoms or blooms from this point. That's awesome. Yeah. And then your kids are accepting? Oh, the kids are great. Yeah, they're accepting. Um, you know, I, I'm trying not to insert myself too much in their lives. You know, I, of course, I want to be that dad that's, hey, you know, clean up your mess and such. But, you know, for me, the most important thing for me to do right now is really hone in on myself and just to be sure. who I am and, and to learn who I am. And, yeah. and, uh, and that's what I'm doing right now.